Hello and welcome to My Finance Teacher YouTube channel. This is a series of videos on principles of economics. And this video is about the circular flow of income and expenditure in the economy, as well as the equality between GDP and aggregate expenditure and aggregate income. Let's start with the circular flow of income and expenditure in the economy. Of course, there are many individuals, businesses, and other institutions and entities in the economy of any country. But those can be categorized into four large categories, which are households, basically all the individuals and families, firms, all the businesses, the government, and the rest of the world, or the foreigners, from a perspective of any country. These four categories trade in, uh, say, two markets the factory markets and the goods markets. On the factory markets, the four factors of production are bought and sold. Those, remember, are labor, capital, land, and entrepreneurship. And on the goods markets, different goods and services are bought and sold. So on the factory markets, households provide firms with four factors of production labor, capital, land, and entrepreneurship. And in return for providing those, households receive all of the company's incomes, wages for labor, rent for land, interest for capital, and entrepreneurship receives profit. All this income is used by the households of course, to pay taxes, we are not talking about that for now. This income is, the rest of the income is used by the households to buy different goods and services on the goods markets from either domestic firms or foreign firms. Let's start with the domestic firms. All the expenditure by households on the goods and services produced by domestic firms is, is called consumption expenditure and is denoted by this letter C on the chart. So in this case, firms are the sellers of goods and services. However, firms can also be buyers of goods and services from other firms. Those, that expenditure is called investments, denoted by I on this chart. That is only part of investments. Other parts of investments are additions to inventories which are basically goods that firms have produced but have not sold yet. And another part of investments are the purchases of houses or other homes, such as apartments, by the households. So not all expenditure by the households is consumption expenditure. Next, governments also participate on the goods markets when they buy different goods and services from the private sector. That garment expenditure is denoted by letter G on this graph. So all the red arrows represent expenditure here. And of course, the foreigners or the rest of the world can buy goods from our domestic firms. In that case, those firms export the goods and services to foreign countries. The exports are represented by letter X on this chart. And local residents can also buy goods and services from foreign companies from the rest of the world those goods and services would be imported into the into the country and imports are represented by this letter m on the chart the net flow of funds from the foreigners from the rest of the world to domestic companies is net exports which would be equal to exports minus imports so all of these red arrows represent expenditure, all of them together are aggregate expenditure. The blue arrows, the blue arrow labeled with the letter Y is aggregate income. And aggregate income is equal to aggregate expenditure because everything, all the sales revenue that the firms receive from selling all of their output is paid as income to households in the form of costs when the firms pay for wages, pay the wages, rent, and um, interest 
and even the profits go to the households as the payment for entrepreneurship skills for those who run those firms. So everything that the firms receive in the form of the sales revenue is paid as income to the households, which means aggregate expenditure is equal to aggregate income. And this aggregate expenditure or the total sales revenue is generated by selling all of the firm's output and the total output the market value of all of that total output is GDP or the gross domestic product hence GDP is equal to aggregate expenditure and it is also equal to aggregate income denoting Y denoting aggregate income with Y and all the components of aggregate expenditure that we've talked about we have denoted with C, I, G, X, and M, standing for consumption expenditure, investments, government expenditure, exports and imports. We see the we have this equation, which can be useful in calculating some GDP values. Let's have a look at an example of that. Say we have these five different kinds of expenditure by households by the government, by firms, foreigners, and expenditure of local residents on foreign goods and services. Say all of these numbers are in millions for your state over the last quarter. So $700 here would represent $700 million. So let's say the households have spent $700 on food, $200 on clothes, $300 on furniture, $400 on electronics, 900 on cars and 1,500 remember that's all in millions so that would be 1.5 billion on homes over the last quarter the government expenditure was on defense education healthcare and roads respectfully respectively being 200 400 400 and another 200 firm firms have spent on equipment and vehicles 300 and 100 respectively Foreigners have bought clothes, electronic and cars, electronics and cars from domestic companies. And locals have bought clothes and electronics from foreign firms. What we are going to practice is calculating the value of GDP as well as the value of its components. Let's have a look at it. So the consumption expenditure would be equal the would equal the total of the household household's expenditure on only food, clothes, furniture, electronics, and cars, because the expenditure on, ho ho on homes by the households is part of investments, not part of consumption expenditure. In this case, consumption expenditure is equal to 2,500. The garment expenditure, the total of garment expenditure, is of course 1,200. That's the expenditure on defense, education, healthcare, and roads. The total of investments. The firms have invested 300 into equipment and another 100 into vehicles. Another part of investments is the expenditure by households on homes. So the total of investments is 1,900. Total exports, what foreigners have bought from local, from domestic companies, is equal to 500, is the total of these three numbers. And total imports, is equal to 200. Hence net exports is of course 300, the difference between exports and imports. Using this formula as we've said, we can calculate the value of GDP, consumption expenditure, plus investments, plus government expenditure, plus net exports, gives us the value of aggregate expenditure or GDP of 5,900, which is also the value of aggregate income. I hope this has been useful and I wish you luck.